week five of proper PLO, and I'm joined today by Jason. Hello, Jason. How are you doing? <laughs> it's not how I'm doing, it's how you're doing that's important. I'm doing all right. Can't complain. So th- <laughs> Just got <laughs> done with Thanksgiving dinner, so... <laughs> Well, uh, tell me what. Tell me how you're doing right now, level-wise, stake-wise, bankroll management, stuff like that. Level-wise, um, over the last ten days, I've gone through a really bad uh, run, about thirty buy-ins below equity. Uh, if the equity line and hold a manager really means anything, um, and so I've dropped back down from fifty no limit to twenty-five no limit in that time. And actually, right after making these videos, uh, I wound up making two videos, but only one of them uh, I'll show today. I gave to uh, Ribo. Um, after making them, I wound up uh, having a really bad day and just temporarily self-banning myself from full tilt for to to calm down because I knew that I was not playing my best. So this could be really interesting. Uh, there might be some really bad play that might be tilt uh, involved, uh, some tilt in here, which I guess it's uh, something that's useful for everybody to see. <laughs> yeah, I, was, um, I made a little article that's in the latest issue of Bluff Magazine, actually, about the very thing you're talking about, tilt. So one with Phil Ivey on the cover. And... Um, I do think that a lot of people kind of don't invest a bit of time and effort into understanding why they tilt. And mm-hmm. they, they tend, it's something they tend to do retroactively, by which time it's too late and you've actually got no money left. 